So you stand here 80 minutes away from Wembley. I'm going to take you back to 2002 when you won the uh, Challenge Cup with Wigan. How excited are you to get that chance to do it as a coach? Yeah, as a player, it was a memory that I hold closely to my heart and uh, it, was, it was an amazing moment. And, you know, to think that we're 80 minutes away with the Leopards in 2023 is, is a dream come true, really. But ahead of us is the World Champions and, and we've got to, you know, manage this process now this weekend. But, you know, I feel confident that, we, you know, we, we've, we've played some good rugby this year. We've uh, learned a lot along the way with, with such a new team. And, you know, I think, um, you know, we're pretty excited about the opportunity ahead. Uh, lots to be said about the way your team's play rugby. Obviously, you, you're one of the highest scorers in the division and you're brilliant to watch. Mm. Um, if, what's the secret behind it? Obviously, things at, things at Wigan perhaps didn't go the way you wanted them to at the end. Yep. But is it maybe like working with Mal Meninga on international duty kind of helped you pick up a few tips and get the best out of your team? Because you're doing a great job. Yeah, no, I've, you know, everyone makes mistakes along the way, whether it's as a player or as a coach, and you've got to learn from that and make you better from it. So, you know, I, I think the uh, my arrival at at Lee Centurions last year, uh, you know, been appointed by by Chris Chester, who I've worked really closely with before in the past, and played with Chris, and just the, the just the combinations and partnerships that we formed with Derek Beaumont, the owner, and and um, Neil Jukes, the the CEO, and and you know Mike Latham last year as chairman. Just the communication we've had to build the group over the last 18 months has been incredible, and something that I'm really grateful for. You know, it's um, we've been able to bring the players in that we feel uh, can do the job for us, and uh, you know I think that they've been pretty good this year so far. So uh, we've got to keep our feet grounded and keep working hard. That's been the key for us so far and just hold each other accountable. You know, uh, we had a tough, tough game against Salford in the last round of last uh, round 19 of Super League. So that hopefully has put us in a good place as well with what's coming up. But, you know, it's been an enjoyable year and, you know, we're, we're nearly done, but still a lot of work to do. Plenty to go. Um, looking back to last year, when you were the Centurions, you obviously lifted the uh, 1895 Cup. How was that experience going down to Tottenham? Obviously, you you, you stayed behind and watched Wigan yep. lift the Challenge Cup, and this time, you know, you could very well be facing them um, at Wembley. So, how was that for you last year? Yeah, it was it was amazing, you know, to, to feel that uh, we we you know we had a pretty good season overall with points for and against. I think the highest scored ever in a season, and and along the way, these these small goals, medium medium long and, and short term goals. I think one of one of the important ones was to win the AB Sundex Cup, which our owner Derek Beaumont is the owner of that uh, company. And I think you know the way that we played in that final was unbelievable, and it certainly set us up for the rest of the year. But to be at that big stadium and and to see the Challenge Cup final after it certainly gave us some impetus to be here this year and and to think that we could potentially win that last year and then be in the main game this year is incredible really and uh, but you know like I said it's, it's still a long way to go and we've just got to keep working hard. Obviously looking back to um, Saints last week uh, they've lost James Roby and Mark Percival for this game does that affect the way you're planning ahead or is it just steam ahead? No they've got some players coming back as well you know they're obviously important players for them but you know they've got a really strong squad and that's why they've been so successful over a long period of time and you know, I think that the the players coming in to replace them are quality players as well. But you know, I think we're just going to make sure we focus on ourselves and get to a consistency level that we've been all year. And uh, you know, it's 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 a massive mountain to climb. We understand that, but that's what you've got to do in these competitions. And the Challenge Cup is one where you know upsets do happen. And I know no doubt Saints will go in as favourites, but I'm, I'm sure you know we'll give our absolute best. Well, I don't want to push you for an answer, but if you beat Saints. Who do you want in that final? It doesn't matter really. It, it really, it really doesn't. It's, it's that's out of my hands. I can't really make a call on that. You know, I think whoever gets it will, would have deserved it. So, and anyone can win on 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 any day. So, you know, we'll just make sure we take care of ourselves first and 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 do our best on Saturday. Well, best of luck for this weekend, Adrian, and uh, appreciate you for coming on. Thank you very Thank you much. much. Appreciate it.